Hello everyone. In this highlighting shorts, I am going to talk about tracheoesophageal fistula. Normally, fusion of tracheoesophageal ridges occurs by the age of four weeks intrauterine life, right? And whenever there is a failure of the fusion of these tracheoesophageal ridges happens, that will result in the fistula formation, and that will be called as tracheoesophageal fistula, right? So what will be the presentation of this patient whenever this newborn baby will be given feeding, right? So first he will choke, then he will have coughing, then there will be the vomiting and because of that all these things there will be the cyanosis. So all these things you are going to see feeding, choking, coughing, vomiting and the cyanosis. And there will be another important feature which you will notice there is an excessive salivation, right? And what are the types of the tracheoesophageal fistula? So there are total five types which we have device them a b c d e right out of these three remember c is the commonest type c is commonest right and b is the least common type right so what is a a will be having only esophageal atresia you can see this is the esophageal atresia right so here you can see there is a esophageal atresia trachea is normal right b type is esophageal atresia with proximal fistula Right, so here you can see proximal fistula is present, trachea is normal, and there is a esophageal fistula, right, with the proximal tracheoesophageal fistula. C type, which is the most common type, is esophageal atresia with distal tracheoesophageal fistula. So they can you can see there is a atresia, and distal fistula is formed here. Right, D type is esophageal atresia with the both proximal. Remember both proximal and distal fistula, and the E type is there is no esophageal atresia you can see no atresia there is a only tracheoesophageal fistula so enjoy learning best wishes